Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you that have a BMW 1 series. Guys, and you need to test your fuel injectors if they're working correctly, if they're leaking, if they open and close correctly, guys. Now, make sure to stay until the end because if, a leaking, if you have a leaking fuel injector, okay, we'll explain a little bit, guys, how it can actually destroy your engine and you may end up buying a new engine. So we're going to cover that today, guys. Uh, now, consider, guys, okay, this video, it should help on four, six, cylinder engines we will demonstrate on six cylinder engine that has been used here in the united states but consider this video guys entertaining only not a how-to video because there is a chance to catch on fire okay catch yourself on fire your car always have fire extinguisher on the side guys protective gear gloves eyewear as well guys so make sure that you don't spray fuel in your eyes if you guys need to buy a new fuel injector, parts, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Number two guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you guys. So let us show you what we have specifically here this is n52 gasoline engine but if you have one guys okay let me tell you one thing check this channel out this is our main channel how to repair guys we guys have helped more than 75 million people we have information that can save you thousands of dollars guys on future car repairs so definitely guys check it out what we did here we removed the fuel rail with the fuel injectors if you want to see how to do that we have a video on the channel and i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below Number two, fire extinguisher, guys, have it on the next to you guys because it can happen uh, to catch on fire or something anytime. Avoid open flames, sparks, make sure guys that you, okay, do that on cold engine as well. We have the fuel rail still connected to the fuel line, that way we have fuel pressure. But after testing a couple of injectors, your fuel pressure will decrease and you will not be able to test the other ones. So what we usually do, we recommend to disconnect all of the ignition coils disconnect the fuel injectors cover the holes for the fuel injectors make sure you don't drop anything inside of them like let's say guys okay uh, rocks dirt uh, tubes uh, sockets nuts bolts because if you drop something inside you will get it in the valves you can bend the valve it can fall in the cylinder and you can destroy your engine so we have a one long rack not a short one because short can be sucked inside your engine long rack, rack covering all the holes that way, okay, if you run out of fuel pressure, crank the engine only for one or two seconds a few times, guys. Two, three times, and it will build fuel pressure again. But have the fire extinguisher on the side. Make sure nobody is close to the engine when you're cranking it, because it can backfire, actually. You may still have fuel in the cylinders. Next, we're going to connect, guys, alligator clips, okay, to the fuel injector. Okay, check it out, right there. Connecting alligator clips now. Perfect. So it doesn't matter which one you connect to positive or negative, you can reverse them. Due to the fact that, okay, it's a coil that opens and closes, it's super important not to touch the two wires together when you have, once you have a battery source because otherwise you will burn that coil, guys, that injector. Now, when you touch the second wire, you, you're going to activate the injector and when you have fuel pressure, it will spray, guys. It needs to spray like fine mist. After you turn it off, make sure that it's not leaking fuel and it closes and opens quickly. So, let's check it out now. Check it out, how quick it is, right? So definitely guys, good working injector, very quick, very responsive and not leaking any fuel. So that's not a leaking injector and it's spraying good in a good pattern. You may notice that it went a little bit this way. This is, that's how it should be on this engine. Due to the fact that you mount the fuel injectors on top, okay, and they need to point a little bit to the left to get inside the intake valves. So that's why it's on purpose that way. And if you need to clean one, we'll have a video on the channel coming soon how to clean fuel injectors. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.